Why was a report detailing the findings of an investigation into the Virginia Parole Board cut down from 13 to 6 pages before it was released to the public? As CBS 6 exclusively reported last night, the longer report describes troubling violations a government watchdog says were committed by the board and its former chair. That report details the way they handled the release of a man who had been serving a life sentence for killing a Richmond police officer. Today, Crime Insider John Burkett went to look for answers from state leaders, including the governor. As Secretary Moran said, if we have uh, the availability of what you're looking at, we'll be glad to look at it and then address it, but I, I can't speculate on something I haven't seen. Governor Ralph Northam tells CBS 6 he has not seen the 13-page version of a report written by Virginia's Inspector General, in which he found the State Parole Board mishandled the release of convicted cop killer Vincent Martin. Was it a preliminary? Was it a draft? Secretary of Public Safety Brian Moran. John, I, have, I never saw a 13 I saw a six-page and read it, reviewed it. We've responded to it numerous times, been very transparent about it. I responded to a six-page report. I have not seen any other report regarding Vincent Martin when you that's saw, any longer than that. When you saw it last night with your name as far as, it, it, it clearly said that it had Bennett, I mean, uh, Adrian Bennett lied to you. Yeah, there was a reference, well, your, according to your report, there was a reference to some April conversation. John, it's the first I'm, I'm aware of that. On page 11 of the report obtained by CBS 6, it states on April 3rd, 2020, former chair Adrian Bennett falsely stated to Moran that she had not advocated for Martin's release when in fact earlier in the day, the inspector general reports, Bennett sent an email to other board members saying she wanted the case certified, adding she had stirred up a hornet's nest in regards to victims. She then stated, according to the report, Vincent Martin was railroaded. If true, that all of the parties involved in in this, what is now emerging to be a very sad episode uh, in the history of our Commonwealth's criminal justice system, that all of them are held accountable. Delegate Todd Gilbert, the House Minority Leader, weighed in during a session Wednesday calling for the resignations of Bennett, who is now a judge, and current parole board chair Tanya Chapman, adding impeachment proceedings would be next if they failed to step down. The investigation found both Bennett and Chapman violated the state constitution, codes, policies and procedures. Inspector General Michael Westfall adding in his report, Chapman was found to have made false entries or destruction of records, a class one misdemeanor and in clear violation of executive order 52, cooperating with the IG investigation. I know that there are many of those who are opposed to the whole concept of mercy, redemption and parole. And because they are opposed to that, this is an opportunity to put aside a political agenda to now attack those people who have to make these tough choices. I wasn't involved with the decision making, but I would hope that before we go and attack folks, we would at least take the time to read the full report. I want the gentleman to know that in fact, I have read the entire report and uh, I hope he will join me in looking at it together and trying to clean up this mess. And that was our John Burkett reporting. You can watch all of John's Crime Insider investigations anytime. CBS 6 is streaming. Just search WTVR Richmond on your stream.